What's good, everyone? Alright, so what we got here is an 05 Acura RSX base model. And recently, I had my upper tie rod, outer tie rods replaced with some Moog ones. And that is right now the brand new Moog upper tie rod outer ends. Can't really see it that well. But, anyways, so. I was going to initially do this install myself, but I thought it better to have the alignment shop do the install at the same time so that way they can do the alignment adjustments and they can help me to align it, line it put it on all at once without me having to worry about any ma massive bad toe or anything. So anyways, they put it all on. Air and good, you know, brand new boots and everything comes comes with it. And they even put the grease fitting on there too, but the doodoo head that put this on there didn't fill it up with grease. Look at this. It's crazy, huh? Brett, but good thing the boots still in good condition, otherwise, you know, who knows? So anyway, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fill this up with some grease. I've got my grease gun ready and everything ready to go, but I've already greased up the other side, so we'll go ahead and show y'all how that is real quick. This is how it's supposed to look, nice and filled with grease, oh, overflowing a little bit on this side, but that's good, that means you know, we got some plenty of grease in there. It's supposed to be nice and a little bit squishy like this. So, I did this side already. We got our grease gun ready right here with the fitting and everything. The pistol grip one from Hyper Fright. So, yeah. The crazy thing is, I think I already drove like over 800 miles on these. So, let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and grease up this side now too. And give y'all a first end view on it. Let's see if I can get y'all a good view of it right here. And you can see these are brand new struts also. So we just put it over the fitting on top like that, nice and snug. Once we get that in there, we just start cranking away the pistol grip. And you'll slowly be able to see it injecting the grease into the boot. And you'll see it slowly start to puff up and get bigger. And this should be done usually right after you put these on. And if there's a little bit too much grease in there, there's a relief valve on this. Oh shit. Apparently I got a hole in this boot. Too much grease. Fuck. Well. Anyway, that's how it's supposed to be done, but so I got a tear in this already and I'm already leaking grease. Which is, you know, not supposed to happen, but at least we caught this. And I'm gonna try to get this changed out. Well, there it is. I don't know if you can see that, but I have a little bit of a leak coming out of that right now. 
So I'm gonna have to try to take care of that. Or at least find some way to patch that up. Because typically, you're supposed to be good and not supposed to have little micro tears in there like that. But we'll see what we can do and work with it on this. But that's how you service these little bad boys right there and add more grease to it when necessary. Until next, and this will help you to keep your upper outer tire rod, the ball joints inside there, running good, in good condition. Good thing these are serviceable so I can add more grease to it as necessary. So. If it leaks out again, at least I'll have, be able to put a little bit more grease in there and everything. At least keep it going. Anyways, thanks for watching. So after looking at this for a little bit while longer, you know, it could have just been that the install was botched when they first put it in. Because these Moog outer tie rods, the boot and everything is supposed to be really good resilient to weathering and tears and everything so no big deal, it could have been that I was just driving on it with some issues without any grease in there but I guess we'll see how it goes I'll probably try to replace this next time or just keep filling up with grease so that it won't be completely dry and serviceable at least but Still looking pretty decent. That's it, folks.